Hi, my name is Kiefer Sutherland. Many of you may know me as an actor, but there's something in my background that you may not know, something which I am very proud of. I am also a grandson of the late Tommy Douglas, a premier who brought enormous change to Saskatchewan and the rest of Canada. He was also the first leader of the New Democratic Party. Using his voice in a recording that he had made in 1962, we'd like to share a story with you, a story that he made famous as early as 1940. It's a story of a place called Mouseland, and it's as important today as it was many years ago. It's not just a piece of history. It's really one of the best explanations you'll ever hear about why Canadians like you and me support the New Democrats. The NDP and the members of the United Food and Commercial Workers Union across Canada are proud to present this animated version of Mouseland. It's a message worth preserving for generations to come and for current generations. So please join me now as my grandfather takes us to a place that he called Mouseland. It's a story of a place called Mouseland. Mouseland was a place where all the little mice lived and played, and were born and died, and they lived much as you and I do. They even had a parliament. And every four years they had an election. They used to walk to the polls and cast their ballots. Some of them even got a ride to the polls. Got a ride for the next four years afterwards, too. Just like you and me. And every time on election day, all the little mice used to go to the ballot box and they used to elect a government. A government made up of big, fat, black cats. Now, if you think it's strange that mice should elect a government made up of cats. You just look at the history of Canada for the last 90 years, and maybe you'll see that they weren't any stupider than we are. Now, I'm not saying anything against the cats. <laughs> they were nice fellows. They conducted the government with dignity. They passed good laws. That is, laws that were good for cats. But the laws that were good for cats <laughs> weren't very good for mice. One of the laws said that mouse holes had to be big enough so a cat could get his paw in. <laughs> Another law said that mice could only travel at certain speeds <laughs> so that a cat could get his breakfast without too much physical effort. All the laws were good laws for cats. But oh, they were hard on the mice. And life was getting harder and harder. And when the mice couldn't put up with it anymore, they decided something had to be done about it. So they went en masse to the pole. They voted the black cats out. And they put in the white cat. The white cats the white cats had put up a terrific campaign. They said, all that mouse land needs is more vision. They said, the trouble with mouse land is those round mouse holes we've got. If you put us in, we'll establish square mouse holes. And they did. And the square mouse holes were twice as big as the round mouse holes. And now the cat could get both his paws in. And life was tougher than ever. And when they couldn't take that anymore, they voted the white cats out and put the black ones in again. And then they went back to the white cats and then to the black cats. They even tried half black cats and half white cats. <laughs> And they called that coalition. <laughs> they even got one government made up of cats with spots on them. <laughs> they were cats that tried to make a noise like a mouse, but they ate like a cat. 
You see, my friends, the trouble wasn't with the color of the cats. The trouble was that they were cats. And because they were cats, they naturally looked after cats instead of mice. Presently, there came along one little mouse who had an idea. My friends, watch out for the little fellow with an idea. And he said to the other mice, look, fellas, why do we keep on electing a government made up of cats? Why don't we elect a government made up of mice? Oh, they said he's a Bolshevik. Lock him up. <laughs> so they put him in jail. <laughs> but I want to remind you that you can lock up a mouse or a man, but you can't lock up an idea. We pledge ourselves to united effort in establishing on the earth an era of justice, truth, and love. May our faces be to the future. May we be the children of that brighter and better day, which even now is beginning to dawn. May we not impede but rather cooperate with those spiritual forces which we believe are impelling the world upward and onward. For our supreme task is to make our dreams come true, to transform our city into the holy city and to make this land in reality God's own country. Thank you.